Kelly. <laughs> I think she said to me, I, some of the dialogue on Colin was so funny, it's so campy, and, but it works. But it, like the funny thing was, I think she said, don't, don't ruffle your feathers or something like that. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> but I like that scene. Uh, other than the fact that when we shot that scene, I don't know if any of you guys remember, it was like in the back alley, and Chloe comes in in, in her like white suit. She looks kind of like Barry Manilow, she's say or something. <laughs> in fact, she did. But um, when we did that scene, it was like 3 o'clock in the morning in November, and it was so cold outside. There was ice all over the ground, and uh, it was kind of miserable. It was fun. <laughs> What's next for you, acting wise? The last time? Uh, yeah, I uh, well, the last time I did, I worked on Alphas, which is a new show on Sci-Fi, and uh, that was right before my belly got big. Um, and up until probably February, I won't have too much going on. Uh, the city sort of shuts down, but I, I've been in talks with, with a producer and a writer uh, about a movie. It, it's sort of in its final funding stages. And it's got some great talent attached, so it's a female. She's a little damsel in stress. Um, and it just, uh, you know, they got cross some T's and dots and lines and stuff like that. So we've been talking, and that was she from Puerto Rico in March. So that took me a long time to shed some baby weight and stuff and you know, get back to it. But uh, I'm hoping that comes through. I really would like to do movies. That's my goal. Uh, television is a great medium, and I love it, and I'm grateful for it, but I just, my heart is kind of in the movies. What was a lot of working on NCIS? Oh, great. NCIS is such a great show. I, you know, I was on hold this year for NCIS Los Angeles, uh, and I don't, I don't know what happened to the character. It kind of went away, but it's such a great franchise. Um, and uh, Mark Carmen and all of all of that cast, they're really, really lovely. Again, it's like walking into a big family. I was on season seven. I think what are they on? Season ten or eleven? Something like that now? Nine? Yeah. I think it's on season six. Season seven. But anyway. Um oh, no, season five. Anyway. Um they uh, they're lovely. It's a lovely group of people and, and uh, you know, when you when you get to come in and sort of play the bad guy, it's fun. Especially on procedural shows. I, I was on a show called Painkiller Jane, and it was a procedural show. And you, when you play the cop, you think, oh yeah, it's great to be on a show like that. But then you don't really get a storyline. The storyline is all about guest stars. And so it's really fun to be the guest star on a lot of these shows. Because you, you get to sort of, you know, work your instrument and, and, and play again. Hi. Um, with Stargate, were you a fan beforehand? Did you have to go through episodes so you knew what, what it was all about or were you a fan beforehand? Uh, I knew of the show, shows, but no, I, I had read for Atlantis a handful of times for like a guest star role here and there, uh, but no, I, I didn't know anything about the show. And <laughs> when I went to MGM, uh, I guess about a week before uh, we went into production, I had met with Charlie Cohen, who's over at MGM, and he's like, oh yeah, I'll send you some stuff. And his secretary comes in like 10 minutes later with an off. And I was like, what is this? And he's like, oh, there's you know, 15 seasons of this show and all this stuff. And I was like, I have to watch all that? He's like, no, no, no. I, I, I haven't watched a handful of episodes of both series. But no, I haven't seen them all. I'd be totally lost. <laughs> Maybe that's why I am lost. Maybe I need to watch them all and then I'll catch up. And then my brother-in-law, he's a huge, I've tweeted this a few times, I don't know. And if you remember, but he's a huge Stargate fan, and so I called them uh, last Christmas. I called Charlie Cohen and MGM, and was like, because he doesn't celebrate Christmas, he's Jehovah's Witness, and I was like, I want to get him something, so I know he loves Stargate. He won't be offended by the Stargate stuff. So I asked Charlie if he could send me like something, like the box set or something like that, and he sent me the 200th episode watch. It looks like a Stargate. Necklace, all this stuff. This is a huge box of stuff. And my brother in law cried. <laughs> so cute. I was like, okay, you're not mad at me. <laughs> so, yeah. I do have a lot of stuff.
I mentioned um, Alfred's Smallville and uh, Painkiller Jane, all comic um, hero type characters. Is there anything that draws you to those type of um, roles? I think they're drawn to me. I don't know what I did. I, I'm grateful for them, but no, it's not something that I've looked for specifically. Uh, I, feel, I feel like I, I, I I was mentioning before that I kind of grew up a little bit in Tokyo and then I lived there and was modeling there. And the anime world always was really fascinating. I never really got into it, but I was fascinated by the fandom. Um, and then, of course, all these, all these comic book characters and the, the adaptation that's so popular right now with movies and television. And I think the science fiction genre is just so much more popular culture right now. Um, with, with the you know the advances in technology and, and you've got great amazing producers and writers like Steven Spielberg and, and uh, James Cameron, um, so I I'm grateful for that journey um, and I and I've tried to stay involved in it. Obviously doing the conventions and I also have a comic book with MTV called Agent Mom that's been uh, it's been really fun to do and it's just sort of kept me you know. Involved creatively in doing something, and, and who knows where it will go. We just finished our first 112 page graphic novel that I'm thinking we'll probably release. It's just been a web comic so far. Um, but I think it would make a great series. And uh, yeah, so I'm just sort of involved in the science fiction world. But I don't think it's going to go anywhere this time soon. Maybe Avatar 3 and 4, James Cameron, you may call. <laughs> I want to be 9 feet tall and blue. We have time for that, so three more questions. <laughs> this has probably been already asked. Um, why was SGU cancelled? The technical reason they gave was that the numbers weren't um, good, but the numbers were fine. Yeah. Yeah, so I I really don't know. Um, maybe I I couldn't even. <laughs> I have an opinion, <laughs> but you know I wouldn't. It's not my place. I just think they were done with it. I just think like they were like, Meh. you know, done that. It's getting good. I think yeah. that too. Why start it up? This is what gets these. That, if that was their thinking, why stand up? Why give us two or three seasons and then... Yeah. <laughs> just I so frustrating. Yeah. Speak <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's, um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The network's interesting. It, it, it I feel like the television industry right now is where the record company was in 2001. With Napster and with you know you know Steve Jobs came along and we changed the face of the world. I feel like that's what's happening to television, and and it's just a very the, the system has not adapted to society. We're all watching you know I watch I don't watch TV I watch everything on Netflix. I bring my Netflix to Australia on my iPad. I mean it's that easy now, and so it really doesn't matter who's sitting in their house on Friday night at eight o'clock watching the show, and they're holding. Advertising model. Uh, I just wanted to ask, are there any actors who inspire you or who you would see as a role model? Oh, there's so many great actors. Um, I think, I, I, I hope that I could have a career like Judy Dench or Helen Mirren, you know, have a long lasting career like that. I think that's my goal and my dream. I never want to stop. Um, my favorite actor is Al Pacino. He's so great. He's so like out and big, and I'm so not. So I really admire that. And um, uh, I think there's some amazing, you know, female character, female actors who uh, are great actors and can be, you know, really mainstream. I, I love Angelina Jolie. I love Charlize Theron. Um, I love Kate Winslet. I think they're all such great, great actors, and they're beautiful. Glamorous women as well. And, you know, I want to be like that. We have one last question coming up, and we'll allow Flashbacks to be again. This last question. Um, on 
is to you, apart from TJ, who's your favorite character? Uh, Greer. I think Greer. Like, I want to know. What, I want to know what's going on in Greer's head. I kind of want to know what's going on in Jimmy's head, to be honest. <laughs> no, but really, Greer is so. Um, I felt like I felt like he was really underused. I felt like he he sort of. Um, I thought he was going to snap, and I really wanted him to. You know? Didn't you feel that way? Now, or just <laughs> let go. But yeah, I like Greer. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you, Lana Hoffman. Thank you. Get over some milk. Yep. Me now. Give <laughs> it. Give her another round of applause.